Hello everyone, my name is Claudio Cortez and this video is about the lectin pathway of the complement system. The lectin pathway starts when MBL or mannose binding protein and phycolins, which is not shown in this video, recognize certain patterns of carbohydrates on pathogens. Here MBL is recognizing mannose patterns found on pathogens. MBL form a complex with mannose associated serine proteases or MASPs. These proteases play a fundamental role during the lectin pathway activation. Once MBL recognizes mannose patterns on the cell surface of pathogens, will activate the serine protease 1 or MASP1, and this one will activate the MASP2 serine protease. MASP2 has the capacity to clip C4, forming C4A and C4B. If C4B is close enough to the cell surface of pathogen, will covalently attach to the cell surface. This is what we call C4B deposition. MASP2 also can clip C2, generating C2A and C2B. If C2B is close enough, and recognize pre-bound C4B, it will generate a complex called C3 convertase or C4B C2B. It is important to remember that the C3 convertase and the C5 convertase of the classical electric pathways are identical. The C3 convertase will be able to cleave C3 found in plasma, generating C3A and C3B. C3A is a important chemoattractant molecule that attracts neutrophils and other cells to the site of infection. When C3B is close enough to the cell surface, will attach covalently to that surface. This process is called C3B deposition. The C3 convertase C4B C2B will cleave many molecules of C3, and therefore many molecules of C3B will be deposited on the cell surface. Since C3B can be recognized by neutrophils and macrophages and help in the process of phagocytosis, C3B is considered an opsonin, which is important in a process called opsonization. If the C3 convertase cleaves C3 and C3B is close enough to this C3 convertase, it will bind to it, generating a new complex called C5 convertase or C4B, C2B, C3B. This C5 convertase has the capacity to cleave C5, generating C5B and C5A. C5A is a potent chemotractant molecule, able to recruit neutrophils to the site of the infection. C5B can be recognized by C6 and C7. This complex, C5B, 6 and 7, will be able to bind to the surface of pathogens and then C8 will be able to be inserted in the cell membrane of pathogen, leading to the recruitment and polymerization of C9. Many molecules of C9 will generate a pore in the cell surface of pathogens. This complex C5B to C9 is called MAC, or Membrane Attack Complex. When the membrane attack complex is formed, pathogens will be lysed. And in certain circumstances, MAC can lyse host cells causing damage to the host. When finished watching this video, please help us to determine if this video was helpful for you by using the thumb up or down key. Thank you.